how to install Uber, WordPress locally in Ubuntu and Linux Mint. First of all, go to the website Bitnami. Then select the community option. Select the community option. Once you've selected the community option, then select your Windows, Mac and Linux. This portion will have the installer for Windows, Mac and Linux. Once you've selected it, after that, select your WordPress. So go and select your WordPress. Yeah. Once you have selected the WordPress, then go below and download for Linux. Now, if you are using any other OS, then you will be downloading that OS installer. As you can see, it will have your uh, Windows, Mac and Linux. Now, you need to sign in. So you can use either the Google, Facebook, GitHub or Microsoft, any of the sign in options or you can uh, create an account in Bitnami. So depending upon your choice, please sign in and it will get downloaded. I have already signed in and downloaded the file and it is present in my download folder. So I will be directly taking you to my download folder. As you can see, I have downloaded in the, it is present in my downloaded folder. It is around 221 MB file. So depending upon when you are downloading, it may be more than that. Now, if you're using Ubuntu, then you need to understand that Ubuntu 20.04 focal and such um, depend uh, and, and the OS which are dependent on Ubuntu like uh, Linux Mint 20, they, they miss a dependency. So you need to first install the dependency. So I have already written, given the code in the description. So just copy it. Once you copy it, open your terminal in the download folder itself. It's preferable. And then you paste it. Paste the code and then press enter. It You have to type in your password. Once you have typed it in your password, the dependency will get installed. Now, once the dependency get installed, after that, you need to type two more code. Now, depending upon the file which you're downloading, the Bitnami file which you're downloading, it you have to change the name. So in my case, see, I've written your Bitnami file name. So you just need to copy the file name, which is which you are having. So just copy the file name and then paste it on the code. Yeah, please uh, copy paste this in this in your text file and then do it. So just paste it over here and now you select this entire code. Select the entire code, copy it. Okay, just hold on. Um, <laughs> yeah, select the entire code and then paste it in your terminal and then press enter. After that, again, kindly copy your Bitnami file name which is present in your installer, that particular well, uh, word because depending upon when you're downloading the uh, wordpress will be different it may be 5.8 so that might change so can you do it now copy it copy the code and paste it in your terminal and then press enter now once you do it the installer will get start so wait for a minute see the installer got started now, Bitnami will have all the dependency which is required for him to run the uh, WordPress already present. So you don't have to do anything else. Just press select your language. I am selecting English. Press OK. After that, press Next. Uh, these are the things that will be uh, installed. Now, you can select your own folder. I have selected the default folder. Now, you need to provide your name. Now they ask you to provide your real name. Now it's up to your choice what name you need to put. My name is Mosham, so I have given my name. You need to provide an email address that you please understand that this WordPress which you're installing is being installed locally. So if you have, if you do not want to, uh, you, you you just want to practice. In that case, you can use any random email ID and name. It will matter nothing. Now in the login portion, you have to give the username with the help of which you are going to log into your WordPress. So type in your username. Now, if you are, uh, I will uh, I will suggest you not to give your own name. Try to give a name which is not one of the authors, isn't it? So that is a preferable practice. Then you need to give your password also. Select a hard password. And once you've done this, press next. Now, why you need to select, uh, so by the way, you need to give write your block name. Now, it can be anything depending upon your choice. 
um, now there are certain privacy issues which for which i always suggest you to give random username and random password uh, so we will discuss about it in some other video so like uh, today let's see how to install this bitnami so write your block name over here i am writing the block which i have which is the mindpedia and then press next uh, i do not want any mail support so i will be ignoring it i will put next i do not want the bitnami uh, cloud i want it to run in my own system locally so i will uncheck it and then press next so once it is done the installer will, will get started it will take some time depending upon your system um, in my case it took around three to four minutes if in your case it might take more or less so just wait for the installer to get installed um, as I have told you, uh, it is preferable to, now if you are uh, using a WordPress and you want to keep your system secure, then it is advisable not to give the username as one of the author's name. Because anyone who wants to hack into your system will try to uh, fetch the username and will do trial and error, error, uh, error algorithms in your Uh, once we have done this, it will get installed. So just wait for a minute. The installation will take some time. So if you want, you can skip a few seconds. Yeah, the installer got installed. Now when I press it, I can easily access. Now please understand one thing. Um, now then since this WordPress got locally installed, so you need to select this address 127.0.0.1 and then this particular address. So in order, this is your WordPress, which is a fresh WordPress, locally installed WordPress. Now in order to access your admin area, you need to give WP hyphen admin so you need to press this and then give your username and password so give your username and type in your password if you want you can select remember me it doesn't matter and then log in now this wordpress dashboard which you will be seeing this is a locally installed wordpress it is not online but you can use it as is as if it is being installed online so see how easy it was i will give you the link below uh, you have to copy that link and paste it in any of the browser if you paste it in the browser then you will directly get access to the uh, wordpress dashboard by logging your username and password so thank you hope you liked it if you have liked it then kindly uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you